WatchOS 9.1 is officially out as of today to the general public and for those that have a supported series of the Apple Watch. This means you can easily go into your settings for your Apple Watch and go to the software update page and you'll be able to see this update. Now, the update size can sometimes be substantial and it's expected to come in somewhere between 500 megabytes to one point two gigs depending on the series or version of the apple watch that you are updating and the build number i have currently on hand is 20s75 could be different depending on when you update and what you update to now let's talk about some of the many new features and changes that this update has to offer there is quite a bit and the first one that i want to show you here on my apple watch ultra is the new update to the apple app store that has been implemented here so you can see that the new applications that are supported for the new apple watch ultra like the siren app if you go in and search for siren you'll be able to see this siren application and you can also have the ability to be able to open it up from there and if you have a series that isn't the ultra like a series 8 or 7 or 6 then you'll also be able to see this application however you won't be able to open it and also if you search for the depth app this new app in the apple app store this is something that you also be able to see and if you have an ultra you can download it if it's not preloaded and for the other series of the apple watch you just be able to glance at it now this update finally introduces advanced power saving mode for certain workouts and if we go into the settings of our apple watch and go to where it says workouts all the way down so click where it says workout you see we have the normal standard low power mode during workout so if you enable that that doesn't do anything that's basically as much as doing the standard workout or the standard power saving mode where you come here and you click on your battery to enable low power mode so that's not the advanced one if you want to enable the advanced one you have to con continue down to where it says fewer gps and heart rate readings and you can see this will be now activated during a low power mode so if you click there you can see what it tells you now and when you go to do a workout you'll be able to get a notification or when you turn this on also for the first time you get a prompt that tells you that now your heart rate and gps metrics are going to be read fewer times as compared to if this low power mode wasn't on and it's unfortunate that this isn't supported in all workouts so this is supported in three workouts you can see one of the workouts that's supported here so if i go into my workout app and just try to do an outdoor run you notice that it says fewer gps and heart rate readings this preserves battery life and reduces frequency of gps and heart rate readings during your workout so gps will be read once every two minutes and heart rate will be read once every minute now if you click restore gps and heart rate then it won't actually turn off the gps and heart rate so you won't enable that advanced power saving mode but if you want to enable it click continue and you'll see that yes you'll be able to do your workouts but to be scanning and giving you metrics less frequent that is supported in three workouts at this time and those three workouts are outdoor walk that i just demonstrated there's also outdoor running and hiking so it's an addition to this and that's an amazing new thing there's also a new update when it comes to the apple music app so if this is something that you do and you want to download for example your songs that are on your iphone or you want to download some music on your apple watch while it's not connected to its charger this is something that's possible and the apple music app can now download while the apple watch is not on its charger using wi-fi or if you are using the cellular connectivity of the apple watch ultra or series 8 or 7 then this is something that is finally possible now also within the home app if this is something that you use i'll be happy to let you know that this update watch 9.1 adds support for meta now this is here also when it comes to the latest ios version for the home app as well so meta is basically a new smart home standard that allows for interportability for different devices so if this is something that you set up then you'll be able to use this and if you have like an accessory or home device from apple or 
a home device from Amazon or Samsung, it will allow it and make it easier for those devices to be set up in your home app on the Apple Watch and on the iPhone as well as on the Mac. So it's a new smart home connectivity standard that's finally here with WatchOS 9.1. When it comes to music and listening to different songs, I'll be happy to let you know that here on the iPhone, if you open up Twitter and you go to the Twitter page, you'll be able to see that for different artists, when it comes to certain albums and singles, Shazam has began adding watch faces and wallpapers that correspond to the either single or album that is in question or in the subject. And you can see, for example, this one, you'll be able to add as a photos watch face to your apple watch and you can also set it as your phone wallpaper so it's not it's not really much to do with the update but it's just an update that's here with shazam that i thought i should let you know just in case if your favorite artist releases an album and you want to be able to add them as a watch face here so you can see taylor swift's new album just came out and pretty soon shazam will give you a link where you can add the photos watch face and have the album as your photos watch face if that's something that you are interested in now also when it comes to the workouts as well there are certain complications changes and also language changes that have been enabled where if you complete a workout the wording change if you are using the british english as your default language it changes from done to complete minor wording changes and again to do with health i'll be happy to let you know that from time to time when it comes to the health app on the iphone since it gives you metrics if you go into your health app and go to the browse section and go to vitals you'll be able to see that when it comes to the cycle tracking since the apple watch series 8 and ultra have a body temperature sensor they've updated this page so you will see this section here about menstruation this has been updated the picture that you see here and some of the information has been refined since the initial release of watch os 9 some other health changes and fitness changes that i hear with the apple watch i'll be happy to let you know that you know last time with watch os 9 they removed the requirement for you to need a require an apple watch for you to be able to get this fitness app but now if you go into the fitness app and go to the fitness plus section you now don't require an apple watch in order to subscribe for fitness plus so that requirement that was there has been been removed with this update that's something that's good it's trying to push more people towards you know becoming more fit and most probably you end up buying an apple watch anyway so those seems to be the new features and changes that i hear when it comes to watch west 9.1 however there are quite a number of bugs and issues that this update fixes the first one that i was experiencing for me on my apple watch series 7 and ultra is that well when i would lower my hand and then raise it up even though my hand or arm is about you know 45 centimeters away siri would automatically start to detect and that issue has been resolved and also the two finger tap for quick time tell was always buggy it had a robotic voice but 1802. you can tell that now that has been fixed so that's a good thing and also there were issues when it comes to the apple watch application for those that were using ios testing so you can see here when i open up the app it doesn't tell me that i need to enable wi-fi or bluetooth on my apple watch unlike what was there before is an issue or bug so that has been fixed and resolved and also they fixed an issue with the microphone where certain apple watch series would not be able to detect what you are saying be it using siri or voiceover or some other accessories when you are using like airpods that's a fixed with this update and they've also fixed voice over weight may not announce the app name prior to reading a notification and also in the workout app voice feedback of average pace during outdoor run may be incorrect so that issue has been fixed and when it comes to the complications that you might have
have on your Apple Watch. There was an issue whereby chance of rain may be out of sync when it comes to the iPhone and the Apple Watch. So the iPhone would be saying one thing and on the other hand, the Apple Watch would also be saying its own thing. So that synchronous issue has been fixed and you should be seeing the same data when it comes to your week or your indexes that you might see and you can see here on the iphone and on the apple watch the data matches and like what was there before is an issue it's a good fix and also when it comes to hourly weather complications sometimes there was an issue whereby weather complications may label times as am during pm hours and there are background security updates with each watch always update so very soon if you go to the apple security update page you'll be able to see what are the security features and updates that watch always 9.1 has to offer now other than that guys that's about it for me when it comes to watch always 9.1 if you do come across some new features and changes that i haven't covered in this video then please by all means do comment them down below in the section so that others might be able to find them and also if you have some questions leave them below and if you enjoy this video leave a like and subscribe as always now stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace